So, Phil Johnson, what makes you click? What makes me click? I'm going to define click first. Uh, my understanding of click is what drives me. Correct. And if that's correct, as you say, what, what's driven me for many, many years is firstly, I'm, I'm, I'm a helper, I'm a natural helper. I want to make a difference to other people. That's been a theme throughout my life. Sport has also been something that's been a theme throughout my life. So I enjoy being in sport, I enjoy being in the environment. Um, but I've also worked in mental health for many years. And so I've worked with people's social and psychological thinking and actions and behaviours. So when I came into sports psychology, for me it was my perfect scenario. It's where I could funnel everything that I'd done in, in my life to date uh, and to bring in this kind of massive experience. And I remember seeing my first footballer uh, who was homesick and depressed and anxious and I thought oh I'd come into sport because it was all about pleasure and leisure and so on and no you know the realities of life are in in every sportsman's arena so because I'm working in the sporting environment and I'm looking at performance I've developed techniques ideas and ways of working which really are reliable and in some cases, in cases, completely life-changing. And, you know, I have shirts hanging in my wardrobes from, from athletes who said things like, thank you for getting me to the World Cup, and, you know, you changed my life, uh, I perform better than I've ever done, all these kind of things. Um, sadly for me, I'm unable to talk a lot about the successes in, in my world, because so much of what I do is confidential. So I'm not able to go onto websites and onto TVs and talk about the successes that I have because I'm just not allowed to do it. But when I came to Monaco Football Club, I've been able to talk about some of the general things that the team have done and of course in the World Cup where some of the players are clearly identified. But the recent example is uh, Jenny Jones, a snowboarder from Britain, who won the first ever Olympic medal on snow for Team GB. And she had a series of head injuries and no one could really fix it. And I was able to do that uh, with the interventions that I do. And she went public, she went global on it, on TV, radio. And so that was great for me to, to receive some acknowledgement for the kind of work that I do. And, and that fires me up. But at the end of the day, it's all about the relationship with the individual. And for me, that's the most satisfying thing, is that I can start at the beginning, we create a baseline, and two, four, six months later, we can see the changes, see the improvements in performance, but also the improvements in people's lives. So that's what drives me. I know that I'm good at what I do, uh, and I know that it works and I have worked a long time on, on achieving those kind of levels of my own performance uh, and so I'm in that situation now where I work at the very highest levels in sport and indeed in business uh, because of the, the long hours of uh, working with people so I'm very much a practitioner. Of course I'm, I'm interested in science and in, in, in terms of theory but at the end of the day, I'm far more interested in bringing it to the real world and, and helping people to change what they do. Thank you.